right, guys, I'm standing in front of the Under Armour booth and Under Armour is partnering with Tactical Games to bring all of their equipment, gear, to enhance what you guys are doing, which is absolutely insane when you think about like everything that you do from fitness to tactics to, to firearms handling and training. I mean, Tactical Games is the standard bearer for active shooting competitions. I, I, I hope so. Yeah, yeah. Like oh, oh, I'm, so. I'm, I'm <laughs> telling you, I'm telling you, in case you didn't know, but yeah. Nick Thayer is the owner of Tactical Games, so he knows that better than me. He's just really being humble. But Nick, you know, how big is it to be working with a company like Under Armour? I mean, they, they are so mainstream. They touch every major sport yep. ac ac across the planet. Yep. And now they're working with Tactical Games. Yeah, How's it, that? it's not just big for us. Of course, it's big for the sport. It's right. great. It's amazing. It's great for our athletes. It's great for exposure for Under Armour. What it's really great for is the 2A community. 100%. I mean, having a global brand go out and, and kind of put their neck out on the line and show support for a shooting sport, because we are, we're a shooting sport. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got a physical element and it matters very much that you're good at the fitness aspect of it. But we shoot AR-15s, we shoot pistols, we're running around with kit on. Like, some things that people might not agree with or see or you know, kind of know what they're seeing when they see it. And Under Armour leaned forward on it in such a big way. I mean, look, their carriers, everything, the logoing, the branding, like Unbelievable. there's a 50 foot by 30 foot banner out there with under Armour's logo on it. It's, right, right, it's, right. It's cool, it's cool. No, no, it speaks volumes. And I mean, the, the timing couldn't be better, to be honest with you, because the, sh the shooting sports community, specifically within the 2A community, is becoming so much more diverse. Yep. People of all skill sets are now coming to the shooting sports. Yes. Because I feel like that is the, the, the category within firearms that breaks down the barriers and yep. gets people interested first, yep. right? Because obviously everybody, everybody always wants to go to defense or you know wartime or something when they right. think about firearms. Right. But tactical games gives that a whole nother element. Yep. It humanizes it a little bit. Yep. And that's, that's, that's kind of, that's important to our company. That's what our company does. We highlight the companies people and experiences that help humanize firearms culture. That's so how crazy. has that journey been with, with tactical games? Well, so I started out as a sport as in the sport as a competitor, as a non-shooter. Mm -hmm. I was just in the fitness space. I went to a store, I got introduced by the store manager to the tactical games. Mm -hmm. I bought a rifle and a pistol and went out and competed two weeks later. Wow. And then now I'm the owner of the company. Mm -hmm. So like I fell in love with shooting sports because of the tactical games. Awesome. So I came in, the tactical games is the first shooting match I ever shot. Mm -hmm. Now I shoot two gun, I shoot USPSA, I just shot Mammoth Sniper Challenge. Like I shoot everything now wow. because I got introduced to it. Mm -hmm. A lot of the people that we bring in were their first shooting sport that they do. I see it. So see it. like 85% of our population comes from the fitness or like not in shooting sports. Right. Only about 15% come from a shooting background. Right. So we're getting new people into the community and then they're going out because we bring in elements of PRS, we bring in elements of USPSA and two gun into our sport mm -hmm. so now they go out and they compete in those local matches right. to get used to or to get right. trained up for shooting our mm -hmm. sport mm -hmm. so we're trying to do everything we can to get people comfortable with being around firearms to understand how to operate safely and effectively and to encourage health and wellness in a population that generally doesn't have it like the american population is overweight yeah. we're out of shape they're like we're just we're doing terrible things to our body veteran population, the LE population, yeah. getting them interested in a sport that's PT, you're getting your physical training in, and you get to get better at shooting uh -huh. and more proficient with your firearms. Absolutely, it also helps mental health too, man. And because for all the previous reasons you mentioned that were negative about what the, what society is subjecting themselves yep. to, it affects mental health. Yep. So when you get involved with something like this, and I've always said fitness and firearms go hand in hand. I agree. Because you have to be disciplined in order to do fitness, yep. and you have to be disciplined in order to you know handle and compete with firearms. Yeah. So I think the tactical games is the perfect marriage of that, man. You guys are absolutely killing it. You yeah, are the standard sure. bearer as yeah. it comes to fitness and firearms, right? So much. I'm looking forward to working with you guys. And, and you know, guys, early drop on this. You remember the Cicado stress test video that we did about a year and a half ago? Well, we're coming out with stress test too. And guess who's gonna be involved? <laughs> these guys. And remember, they stressed me, not the gun last time. I don't even know what, what these guys are gonna have in store for us. But when you get names like Cicado and Tactical Games together with Guns Out TV, you know it's gonna be big. Nick, thanks for taking the thanks time, bro. Much, I and I wish you guys all the success. Yeah, thank you. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that interview. That's just one of many coming out of SHOT Show 2024. Please, if you enjoyed the video, like, share, comment, subscribe. SHOT Show, like you've never seen it before, reality series. I'm guessing it's probably gonna be a two or three parter because obviously SHOT Show is just so massive. But stay on the lookout for that and everything else coming out of GunsOutTV.com. 2024 is gonna be an amazing year. Let's go.